morning, good morning, good morning to all my beautiful kings and queens. I hope y'all are having a blessed and prosperous day so far. Today is Tuesday, November 30th. This is the last day of the month. I hope you all achieve all your goals that you have set so far for the month of November. Tomorrow is December, another day to praise and thank God for his, his many, 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 many blessings that's if um it's in god's will for us to but um so today um god popped this up in my places in my spirit i'm sorry about receiving god's divine blessings over satan lucifer the devil whatever y'all want to call them blessings because satan has blessings for you as well if you remember in the book of luke when um, the devil, when Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and he was in the wilderness, and the devil tempted him, and he basically, he basically was trying to have Jesus bow down to him, and he was going to bless him with multiple things, as he stated in that, in that book, and of course, Jesus wasn't having that. So there, um, matter of fact, it's Luke chapter 4. Y'all can look it up for yourselves. But um, that goes to show you that the devil has blessings for you as well. Sometimes we get so caught up in life and you just get so excited because you, you feel like you're receiving a blessing. But let me tell you this. The blessings of God, you will be at peace. You will have clarity. And it won't be no confusion whatsoever. It's just going to sit right. And you will know that it's from God. Now, the devil comes with confusion. And you won't have no peace. And it just won't sit right. For example. Working at a job, and they offer you, they offer you an advancement, a new position, a, a manager position, and you take the position, not even praying about it, not even fasting about it, not even seeking God first, and then you take this position. Later, you working like a slave just worn out regretting that you even took the position and it just doesn't flow basically when it's from God it's going to flow and one thing that I've learned is that God did not create us to be working like no Hebrew slave we were created to work but we do not supposed to be working all the time like that. And you don't have a balance. You work all the time. You don't have time for your, your children. You don't have time for your families. You don't have time for yourself. And God didn't create us to work like that. I don't care what nobody say. Because even in the book of Genesis, after God created the world, the earth, he even rested. And it's a time and a season for everything. And a lot of us just tend to work, 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 work. I want to get this money. I'm just going to work, 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 work. We aren't designed. <laughs> we were not created to work like that. So if y'all are just out here um, working, and don't even have time to think that's not of God um, that's just that's not of God he didn't create us to work like that and and the people that you your corporate team or your you know the um, management team and the people that has, that has higher positions have higher positions um, that's over you they will see your work ethic. You don't have to work 
seven days, 16 plus hours a day for them to see your work ethic. Because what's for you is for you. You a hard worker. I don't care if you're working four hours. They're going to see you. They're going to see you. And like I said, God didn't create us for that. He didn't create us to be away from our families. 16 plus hours a day you just don't have time for nothing not even yourself and not only that you're stressing your body out mentally emotionally physical physically and spiritually all of that is stress on your bodies and we were not created to do that so so just know that, I mean, and not only just that, you know, like you have, um, I've heard stories or testimonies where, um, where you have musicians and, um, singers and things like, people like that, and they've been offered deals to where they get an, an X amount of money. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty penny sign this contract and you will be a star but then they'll say you know like I don't feel like that's in a line with God's will for my life and it just didn't sit right so they denied the contract they don't accept they don't accept the offer so like you know we just have to be able to discern which blessings are from God and those are the blessings that you will be at peace with I don't care if it's a job that that pays you um, well I'm going to say this I don't care if you had a job making less and somebody else offers you more money if, if you are if you done prayed about it, fasted about it and God didn't speak to you concerning that uh making that move to another job that's not of God because you're going to automatically feel peace and if not just ask God to send you a sign send you a sign whether or not you should take that position you know and I'm not saying that you know it's not God can't make that happen because he most definitely can only thing I'm saying is that make sure you pray about because every pray about it because everything that sounds good is not always good you know all money is not good money and the grass is not always green on the other side so just make wise decisions and just pray and and, and allow god to lead and guide you you know into making decisions and that's what any decision in your life you know what i'm saying i was just throwing some examples out there but you know that's even like there's multiple you know, like if you go going to the car dealership, you go into the car dealership and you, you know, like you, it's just this one car that just like, as soon as you drive on that lot, that's the car. That's it. And you just got this, this feeling that you know that that's your car. And everything from the all the, you filling out all the paperwork to the applying for the loan to get this car to everything just be smooth a smooth transaction that is from God and if you get there I'm talking about even from the car sales person the car salesman from the car salesman to the last final stages of you driving off the lot with this car that's how it's supposed to be when it's a blessing from God now you would have walked on that part of that uh, car lot and it you know what I'm saying like you just confused you lost but hey I need a car you know I'm just gonna settle for this one because you know, I really need to get from point A to point B. Knowing that it's like in your
go speed it's just like i don't know about this car but then you go through with it anyway then after you can sign the paperwork drive off the lot the motor blew so that was just placed in my spirit on this morning and i had to get on here and be obedient to what god tells me um, to do and say and um just y'all more of the story just like they say all money ain't good money all blessings aren't from god and you gotta be able to discern that and again just pray about it if you still can't determine if it's you know him or not like that but just ask him to send you a sign because sometimes we get so excited about about it and our feelings and emotions get the best of us and and we still can't um you know determine for ourselves just pray and ask god to block it if it's not for him block it i do that a lot like lord if it's if, if it's not for you block it because I want all of God's divine blessings and you should want all of God's divine blessings and more than likely when one door closed I'm not going to say more than likely these are facts when one door closed God got another door opening for you and you will be surprised sometimes we sell ourselves short because we don't be patient and willing to wait on God and allow him to bless us instead we want to make moves on our own and and then we going we going to block our own blessing so ladies and gentlemen just pray about everything have discernment see first the kingdom of God and um and seal all of God's blessings for your life and that's all that I have for y'all today. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a, a blessed, peaceful, happy, joyful day. And life is so short, y'all. Do not take it for granted. Smile. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Be happy. Travel this world. Do 